I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. Are one and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days. <laughs> when you and I <laughs> and Arthur were <laughs> together. I didn't mod him with a DLC costume. Stay back. Just... My word, the demon muncher. You really are a box of horrors, aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Hmm. Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. <laughs> Jeff! Oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city <laughs> called Helenes nearby. I can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. <laughs> so this is how escaped prisoners behave. Yeah, sorry, I've been pretty quiet for the most part. Uh... Oh, the wind, it bites! How can you stand wearing that garb? It doesn't seem humanly possible. I never said I was human. Sorry, I've been pretty quiet for a while. It's just a... Uh... I'm very tired. <laughs> I've been doing a lot over the past couple months, and uh, pretty much, uh, I figured I'd play this as a way to take off the edge. But also, mainly because uh, I have kind of been teasing about doing Tales of Perseer for a long while now, and I feel like a lot of people have been blue-balled. So, figured, why not? Yeah, I really don't feel like I need to beat any of these guys, honestly. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me. You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement. Your words cut deeper than these northern winds. 
<laughs> yeah, hang on. Yeah, I'm level 15. How many are they at? Level 5! Like, probably at best, maybe level 10. At, at, maybe. Yeah, I really don't need to, like, keep beating up on these guys. And I don't really need to keep showing it. Come on, really? It's kind of a waste of time. But yeah, I'll try to give commentary where I feel it best. So nice to be free again. Able to move these bones around like I want. But I don't really know how much I can add. What got you all chained up in that mold hole? It ties to home. It's complicated. Oh, -ho -ho! then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. Pay what you owe. Well, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. That's why I know so little about the state of the world. Oh gosh, me too! Art-wielding Malakim! I've never seen such a thing! How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this will do to business? Should I even ask why you were imprisoned? <laughs> Back for unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale of betrayal most wicked and foul! <clears throat> Care to hear more? You'll cry. I'll laugh. Emotions will touch the rafters. No, thank you. Oh no, I'm in so much trouble. So much trouble. Oh yeah, the cat's oh, just. Somebody, Paul, please help a kitty out. Meow. Oh look, another weirdo. That thing talks. What if it's a cat demon? Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? They look like this. That's just like what I found at Titania. Perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Really? Then how about kitty clumps? <sighs> anyway, one night we were having a feast so meowvelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That's why I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emeousipate my friends. Emeousipate? Really? It means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cat's boxes like these here. Meow. Here you'd say apesipate. <laughs> this one would be edoxipate. And finally... Meow. I'm free, Meow. See? Emeousipate. By that logic, shouldn't it be ecatsipate? Wow, you're way more clever than you look! For real! I guess I totally underestimated you. Please, our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them. Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor clost brothers and sisters, Meow. And why should I? Please, think of the cats! You know, cats have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit so this part of the game is uh it's we'll just it basically room. collecting all those it, it's basically we'll just uh them, they might put a curse on us that has been known to happen yeah. it's basically just collecting a bunch of the souls and then just giving them into chest like every other chest gives an item I've actually gotten a few over I don't know if I still have them but Yeah, I have, like, a si ne next to the DLC, I have, like, a bunch of different items. Yeah, so I've collected a lot of, uh, souls and open chests. I don't know if I opened all, every single one of them, but, yeah. Exorcists. Well, that's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I... I... 
apologize about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. The compass. You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Hmm. Is he your dessert? If necessary. There's a ladder. So I will say one thing about this particular part of the game. Is that... When it comes to stories of around revenge, which is what Tales of Assyria is centered on. This is one of the real first instances where you get to witness the... Uh, the aftermath of what a selfish, a selfish driven goal leads to. A storehouse? <laughs> that smell. Flamestone. Flamestone? Also known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives! Mix it with oil and you get fuel! Sounds dangerous, if it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse. We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons, too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. <laughs> Nope, not an option. But yeah, the whole thing around Helvies, it it really does like put a much bigger focus on Velvet's uh Velvet's story through revenge. Like again, like you like through the prologue, you understand what she went through and you understand why she has to do what she has to do. But uh the game does do a good job of showing the ramifications of her actions. So this is gonna, so most likely, um, because I have a new game plus data, this is gonna probably not take all that long, but there is a fair amount of, uh, there's a fair trek that more or less considers a considerable amount, has a considerable amount of grinding. So yeah, there's that. There's a group of sailors. Is that the guild? Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys. Poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? It's true. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. We need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of exorcist the Abbey. <sighs> Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? <sighs> Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. Teresa, I believe, is voiced by Brina Palencia. To maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. And you, girl, aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgown was so cold. Hatch! A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. How the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. 
If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you, he's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. I wonder what darling Rokoro's got up to in the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! So now I believe I'm correct. Yep, we can use Rokuro now. And you know, honestly... I don't honestly mind making Rokuro the... playing Rokuro the for a bit. Just as a bit of a change-up. I usually do uh, Velvet because I like the Therian arm, but as a new game plus and whatnot, I don't mind it. That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. So in a regular gameplay, if I recall correctly, that pretty much unlocks a different outfit for Rokuro. Just this. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me, either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame, then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. He says that, but in the grand scheme of things, he's no—he's not that different than an ordinary human. He just doesn't give a fuck about a lot. If you say so. He just—he just doesn't give a fuck about a lot of things. Like that's really the major thing. Look, there's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. It's a princessia. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. I see. Thank you. And everybody is in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. is nice, Elika. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no. I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know. I just figured that, well... She loved you the most out of I'm not exactly sure when this and takes that, place uh, specifically, but I can only assume this is just right before when the no, events of no ranking when the game family. started, basically. Said, just right before it. You're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. 
It's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up, Princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. Yeah, they don't say exactly. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what Princessias signify? Betrayal. Oh? Hey, that's right. Thank goodness. That's what I have her as. But any further attacks and a shrine Tenku priestess, basically. An exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the outlands. And yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once. And the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. <laughs> it's fine. You can tell me. I'll keep it a secret. I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> hmm. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're hand-picked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? Just some common wisdom. Wait. My granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry. I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Okay, so this is by far one of the most useless things out of Berseria specifically. Now, I've played a few other Tales games, and, like, I guess the first that comes to mind for me right now is Tales of Arise. In Tales of Arise, when you have to... They do incorporate cooking. And it does come up as something, you know, like, they should actually do, because it's like, it, because some characters, they actually say, you know, I'm getting hungry, and there are other camps to sit and just rejuvenate and rest and everything, so, you know, with how that game is set up, it makes sense, and just, you know, 
it makes sense and you know cooking is very useful and hell sometimes it actually opens up for like little skits and little conversations that's nice the thing with berseria is you can play this game and beat it without using any of the cooking whatsoever and you won't really like lose anything and that's the thing is that it's just it, it won't really lose anything it won't really like it, it it's it's basically in this game it's worthless like I guess you could say that's a a lot with the other, uh, the other additions to it and everything, but I don't know. Cooking in this game is really like it doesn't it doesn't really have any point to it. Yeah, a lot of the uh the effects of these cooking and everything it kind of falls short when you have characters that can heal on your in your party and you have various amount of items. Like this game can easily like. The one thing about this game's combat is that it can very easily be cheesed, and that's very much on Velvet's behalf. You can basically just pick Velvet and go Therian Arm, and depending on how many, uh, and, and depending on the right time in battle, you can basically just cheese this whole game. So, about that whole apple thing, you can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's, like, due to the fact that, like, I've played this game multiple times. But pretty much almost every single one of those times, I've never cooked. And it, like... It didn't really do... It didn't really change much. It didn't really... It wasn't really, like, I came to a point where it's just, like, I needed to cook, otherwise, like, I'd be fucking up. I don't know. It never felt like whether or not I cooked, it ultimately was something that was gonna hamper my progress through this game. Oh, yeah. The guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's just the kind of demon I am. Yeah, so this is the part where it becomes very, like... It's a bit of a trek and it's fairly grindy. I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. If I recall, every character has, like, their own particular, like, break animation. Yeah. So pretty much the chest after the next chest is going to have a new item for me. So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. I can definitely tell, like, the, tre the treasure chests, though, however, are uh, very different compared to the ones of Asteria. Because in Asteria, uh, you have to have, like, a specific key for some chests. But in this game, like, every chest, aside from cat's chests, uh, are available to open. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how rare, how, uh, brand new or fresh the items are. You know what they say, falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I don't think that's quite how the saying goes. Yeah, potato, potato. I'm going to jump. Don't fall and crack your skull. All right. This is a code red demon. Are we ready for this? Okay, so it's a level. Yeah, that's it's about the level I'm at. 
Yeah, so those enemies are, like, supposed to be higher than, uh, the normal level of You're particular enemy. Swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. A cannibal demon. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is hag. Am I right? <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. <laughs> Pretty much uh, what I fought back there was a code red demon. If you don't know, Code Red Demons are supposed to be, like, enemies that are higher than the normal enemy level. And if you defeat them, it's like, you get a bunch of experience along with, uh, some special reward, I believe. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said... It's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste. Hmm. You said you Therians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Eh, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. <laughs> the only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that you're a demon, huh? I have to say, even though like I'm just passing from location to location, I do have to say that this cave is definitely very pretty. This game is not the most, uh, I will say that the game doesn't have the, uh, the best animation I've seen, especially for a JRPG. Like, I, I can definitely tell there was some limitations the people who were making it were working with. I mean, it was made, I believe, in Autodesk Maya. I don't know exactly if that's, like, completely and early, uh, if that's going to be able to do something, I don't know, like, on the level of, I I don't know. I guess, I guess to keep it in the same ballpark, what they were doing with Tales of Arise or any other Tales of Games with some beautiful graphics, like in the same ballpark of like Tales of Zestiria or Tales of Berseria. Since I know this is definitely a prequel to Zestiria, Berseria definitely looks a lot better compared to Zestiria, and I think that's very much because of its restraint. Like, in Zestiria, there's a lot of very, uh... They do try to replicate a lot of 2D, uh... Elements for animation. Like, expressions, movements. And it feels very, uh, gimmicky. More so than usual, it feels very... It even kind of feels a little, uh... Rigid. 
in this th- though there's a lot less like there's a lot less traditional 2d comedy when it comes to animation here it's very much more like mature and it, it's a lot more mature a lot more restrained on that area and so i also kind of think it comes off a lot better in Brasiria, however, it, it, it comes off a little, uh, iffy. It comes off a little iffy. But that said, this is like, again, this, this cave looks very beautiful. Uh, my only complaint is the music. Not that it's bad, but this particular track is heard multiple times throughout various different caves and different areas. That's really my only complaint, is that there's not really a, a ton of music that's being used for area after area. It's generally, like, a track like this is for, like, just kind of caves, which is fine, but it's just, like, I don't know, I kind of, I would like to hear, like, different music. An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in. We found our murderer. More fools from Hellas came hunting me down. It seems that way. It's kind of weird because I have to like hold back for this game. Not, like, intentionally, but rather it's just, like, the limitation of the game currently. I don't have everything unlocked, so I can't go all out as much as I'd like to. Nail that perfectly. I won't die yet. Not until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me. They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> You think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you, and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? The raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This, I swear. Okay, this part, um... This part is a little, uh... Downplayed. I I guess that's one one of my major complaints about Tales of Assyria, and as well as, like, wanted, other JRPGs, is that they have, like, that's not some pretty out. interesting and pretty, like, uh, complex stories. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. Okay, well, I mean, that's, like, one of the only times in this game where it's just, like... Something like that happens, where characters get something, like, dismembered. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down.
But this is kind of the complaint I have with the number of uh, JRPGs, or just in general, is that some games, they have this opportunity to tell us, like, this complex, this morally gray story, kind of like this. It's like a story on revenge, but how it's more or less, a lot of it centers on a morally gray theme. The problem I have with it is that a lot of what it tries to do, it kind of rely, it, 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 it kind of feels more in the sense of, like, shock value than anything because it, it like like he was just talking about he wanted to raid Helvies and he wanted to kill everyone in Helvies, basically but and the grand scheme of things compared to everything else that's very like downplay I, I shouldn't say compared to everything else Com considering what happens in the rest of the game like that type of character motive is very downplayed like unless we're talking about uh characters that are I guess part of the main crew. A lot of what they des they desire to do gets very downplayed. So and that's kind of like the one good point I have is like, I guess I just I don't know. When you have a story that has something dark like a plot about revenge against very powerful figures to the point where it's like they're against the world. I I don't want to see more of these games go big or go home. You know what I mean? It's like. Okay, there is a lot of focus on there's there's a lot of focus on Velvet and her getting her revenge, and yeah, like like I've said before, there is some pretty good imagery to showcase what that has resulted in. But I really feel like they could they could really do more. I don't know. It just feels like. There could be the more way, done. How on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. I don't know. I guess the point I'm trying to make is, is like, it, it has, like, these games have, like, the opportunity to do like much more darker much more serious much more like complex and grounded story and it feels like a lot of them really don't want to go down that route it's like more in the sense of i i guess more in the sense of like shock value in that sense and also along with uh also i i, I know this is like a nitpick or whatever but dial's actor Considering what happens in the end, Dial's actor kind of highlights something about uh, Tales of Her series English dub that I don't think they took into account. That is, they went with how certain characters look and how certain characters are designed and went casting for that, as opposed to more in the sense of what, a more in the sense of looking over everything in the story what happens and going so okay so what could this character actually sound like then it it comes up a couple of time it doesn't come up much but it it shows like a couple times throughout the story where it's just like okay Is this really how you want to play it listen i'm being hunted too it's only a matter of time i can't afford sympathy <laughs> It comes up a couple times in the actual game where it's just like, okay, I, I see what you're doing. And yeah, like, it really feels like in the English dub, it just felt like certain uh, actors or actresses weren't necessarily cast or right in regards to specific moments. That said, it's very few in between, so I, I don't think it's that much of like, uh, that it's that bad or anything. It's just something to bring up. This is Dial's tale. Did you... did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach, and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? 
What are you talking about? You don't know? Okay, so... We didn't have anything like that in our village. Unlike cooking, this is actually one of the, the parts of the game on, I find that's go. the most useful. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on. So basically, I know this is going through tutorial, but to basically explain it, it's basically just to upgrade particular weapons. So it gives added, there it gives added effects, but it also gives added uh, damage and whatnot. Of course, this requires you to have particular materials and whatnot. You can dismantle particular uh, weapons, clothing, accessories, so on and so forth. And that's how it's done. Get it? You can dismantle a lot of the stuff for like particular materials you may need to enhance weapons. Uh, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. I don't know, I've always found it useful considering the amount of enemies I've come across right. and whatnot. If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. Oh, and by the way, Ting was pissed off the fact that along with Velvet's new outfit, I gave her a haircut, uh, and they wanted to, and they liked Velvet with longer hair. Just so you know, hair doesn't constantly stay short. That's all I'll say about that. Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Hey, Velvet. Do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah, I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Oh, Imperian Inominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? Y your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I'd been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. 
Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. You know, I like them. I hope they end up living in the end of all of this. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit. I merely boarded without permission. You. You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu. Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. I mean, in, your, in grand scheme of things, does she really have a reason to keep us a secret? She literally just came along for the ride. We're not friends or anything. She's got, like, no fucking reason to keep us a secret or not to snitch. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Hot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. That's another thing about this game. I, I, Let's head to Dial's cave. Sorry, Mogilu. From area to area, when the characters need something, something just can. When the characters need something or someone, they just conveniently fall right into their fucking hands. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. All right. One last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know. After you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. 
Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Muffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Luffy said! No! Listen to me! Artorius is! He's going to! <laughs> Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going, then. Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment any time. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right, then. We're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. Who goes there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. I'll finish this quickly. You're finished. Come on, really? The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. Demon lady. You're here. You're the demon that escaped the island? What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar. You will pay for that. Slowly. Come and face me, that exorcist! I am honor bound to aid her. Beware her left arm! Hold up! 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 Hold up!
Demons should be simple for you. Admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work, coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our stores of flamestone! Rokuro! I'm with you! Hey! Aren't you forgetting someone? What are you all doing? After them! Lady Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies! Put out the fires at once! Yeah, just everything on fire. Move it. We're ready to set sail. Think back what I said about the animation. This is fucking. <laughs> this is actually fucking great. Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two. The kid's gonna blow himself up. To think you were a demon. The crybaby exorcist. I wasn't crying. Two praetors, not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> <laughs>
Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? Yeah, this is what I mean by the uh, negative ramifications of her actions. Curse you. Curse you. Such ghastly demons. The Ever serve revenge leading to a poor town and a burning down. Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <laughs> 